Next, I have a clap with you. I can't stand it. Okay. Hey friends. Hey friends. Hey friends. It's me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel. You are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I actually wanted to do a recommendation video and I wanted to recommend you all some black books. So I feel like I've seen a lot of other booktubers do this and I definitely encourage you to check out their lists because obviously we're all probably gonna have different books and the same books. So either way, like it'll be good to get all of our perspectives on that. But I have a stack of books here that I would just like to kind of recommend to you all. I'm not going to go into too many details because there is a good number. The first half, it's going to be books that I've actually read. I think that they are definitely worth checking out. And then the second half of these books are books that I own and haven't read yet. But I've heard a lot of people recommend it and heard, heard a lot of th good things said about them. So I'm going to keep the descriptions short, honestly, if like not say any descriptions at all, because I also encourage you to look them up yourself. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first book I have is Truly Madly Royally by Debbie Rigaud. So if you like YA contemporary and like a cute story, I definitely recommend this one. It's about a girl who meets a prince during the summer program and he is white and they kind of fall into this cute little romance and I definitely enjoyed it. I thought it was such a cute read and it was definitely different from the normal black tragedy stories that have been coming out which aren't bad at all and definitely should be read but if in case you want something cute I definitely recommend this. The next book I have is Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. I really like this one because it had some really good conversations regarding racism and privilege especially in regards to friendships and the dynamics that happen between people who do have white friends who don't recognize their privilege. The next book I have is Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. This one I just read recently and I absolutely adored and I'm super excited to read more of Talia's work because uh, I thought she wrote her character so well. I also appreciated that she wrote a character that has a chronic illness because you definitely don't see that as much as sh you should. And I just thought it was a cute romance and Red was honestly one of my favorite protagonists. So I definitely recommend this one as well. The next book I have is Slay by Brittany Morris. This is one of my absolute favorite books. It was one of my absolute favorites of 2019. If you like gaming, this is definitely a book for you. Even if you don't like gaming, this book is, I feel like, so good and so important that it can transcend that topic for you if like that's not even a topic you like it's not all about gaming that's just a big aspect of it but it is more than just a gamer story too the next book i have is tiffany sly lives here now i enjoyed this because it touches upon the idea of mental illness in the black community and the fact that some people don't take it seriously enough and that any type of mental illness for anybody should be taken as seriously as needed. Next book, Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. I enjoyed this so much. It's about a girl who was born with HIV and she basically has to figure out how she wants to live her life and especially with this disease and she also has to deal with someone threatening to out her secret. So I thought this was a cool read. It was super cute. It educated you a lot on HIV and what that entails. And I appreciate that a lot. And it does have some absolutely amazing representation in this story. So highly recommend it. All right, so the next book I have is Children of Blood and Bone. I'm recommending this in case you want a really good black fantasy. This is obviously a good one and it's obviously a popular one. But I think Tomi Adiemi does a really good job, especially in world building, but also tying in modern day struggles that black people deal with into a fantasy story, especially in regards to like colorism and just race 
racism and oppression. Hey friends, editing Alana here. Um, I decided I wanted to add in another book that I just recently read that I really enjoyed, and that was The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Um, this is an adult fiction um, book, and it's basically about these two sisters who grew up in a town of very uh, light-skinned African Americans, and so they end up uh, splitting up in life and they go in completely different directions. One goes and she marries um, a dark skinned man and then the other one goes and she pa she pretends that she's white and she marries a white man. So it looks at, it takes a look at like their lives and how their uh, choices played out eventually. And I liked that it also takes a look at their daughters and the way their choices affected their daughters as well. Um, I thought it was just a really good book and it was an interesting book to spark the conversation surrounding like colorism and um, just the way people value like light skinned people over dark skinned people and racism obviously because this does take place in like the early south i can't remember the dates but like the 18 somethings so i thought it was pretty good i gave it four stars um i definitely recommend this if you are looking for like a good adult fiction it's also going to be a movie don't know when it's coming out it just got signed this year though so that's also going to be a thing um but i definitely did did find this an interesting read and i enjoyed uh reading about like how the sisters' lives played out overall um, with the choices that they had made like early on. Okay, so these next set of books I haven't read yet or I've just started, and so I'm not going to go into too many details about the descriptions, but I want to just show them off to show you that there are books you can find and look up and read. So the first book I have is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. This one just came out. Everybody is loving this one. It's queer representation, black representation. Just definitely recommend it. I've heard it's adorable. All right, the next book I have is Pride by E.B. Zaboy. This is a Pride and Prejudice retelling, but obviously from the black mindset and it deals with the idea of gentrification within the black neighborhoods of certain cities. Next is I Want to Be Where You Are by Christina Forrest. This is about a girl who wants to be a dancer but her mom does not support her dream so she sneaks out to basically go and take part in this dream audition that she wants. Next, Color Me In by Natasha Diaz. This is about a biracial girl who's basically struggling to find her place within her family and her world and just what it really means to be biracial. A Phoenix Must Burn. It's an anthology by a bunch of different authors but edited by Patrice Caldwell. Definitely recommend if you are looking for some just black girl magic. This is a set of fantasy stories that involve black characters. Next is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. So I still am not sure what this one is about specifically. I think it's about a girl who's stuck into this like dystopian society that deals with like blood magic or something. But I've definitely heard good things about it. A lot of people have been raving about it and they're super excited for it to come out next year. So I'm definitely excited to read this when I can at some point this year. Next I have Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. Everybody has raved about Tiffany D. Jackson. Everybody loves this book. It's about the idea of the fact that when black girls go missing, nobody pays attention basically. Next is allegedly also by Tiffany D. Jackson. So this is about a girl who ends up being charged for the murder of a white baby that she's been taking care of. I feel like this is going to hit on some tough topics that definitely need to be addressed. So I'm looking forward to this. Next I have Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. This deals with two sisters who find out that their sisters and dad has had two super families when he dies. The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I've heard good things about this one and this one is in verse as well. I've just heard good things about Elizabeth Acevedo's works anyway. Next is With the Fire on High, also by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, this one deals with a teen mom who wants to be a chef and so she has to basically try and 
pursue her dreams. Next, I have The Revolution of Bertie Randolph. This is about a black girl who's trying to basically live up to the standards that her parents have set, but she's struggling because she's having to give up everything that she loves for them. And it's her basically finding a way to really, I guess, stand up for what she wants in life. All right, and the last book I have for this recommendation video is Felix Ever After by Kaysen Callender. This is essentially, I believe, about a trans boy who gets outed. And that's all I really know, but that's all I really want to know because I feel like that definitely gives me a better experience with it. So I'm really excited for this one. I've heard so many good things about this. So many people have loved it and I want to love it too. And I want you to love it. All right, so those are just some of the black books you could be reading, you could be looking up, you could be finding. There are obviously more out there. I definitely encourage you to look up on Goodreads, to look up on Amazon, Google them, publisher sites. Definitely look up if you are trying to read more diversely because you'll find them. They're there just waiting for anyone to pick them up honestly so yeah hopefully this video helped you hopefully it helped me it definitely made me more excited to read all of these books if you like the video please like it down below if you have any comments questions concerns please leave all of that down below if you're not good at commenting i'm just gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below you are all sunflowers in the world for awaits. <laughs>